Welcome back to the Six Figure Blueprint Training Course. And by now, you are not only mentally ready and prepared, but now you know better and the attitude that you need and that you better have from this point on and how you're gonna go and do and how you're gonna approach anything that you're gonna go and doing from this point on, regardless of what that is. And this is something, once again, for you to have. And this is based on the three attributes and deciding and having the burning desire and obviously and having that commitment. And probably this is something new to you. And if that is, I'm going to ask you for you to have this in mind all the time and for you to condition yourself and having that type of attitude because that's exactly what I did because I didn't have that before. But... I condition myself on having the attitude. So you better do the same. So now, about this video. This video, it's all about awareness. And we're gonna go deep, because that's exactly the first step before you go on module two. I'm being very, very aware. So right now, this will be your wake-up call. And you better look at it that way. Because you will be able to do more. You will be able to accomplish more. And you will be able to have more fun and doing it. So first step, awareness. And what that means is you being self-aware. Now let's say that I come up to you right now. Like right now. And I ask you, can you tell me what's being self-aware or having awareness? What would your answer be? And obviously, based on everything that we've been going through up to this point, what would your answer be? And take a few moments for you to answer that question. What would your answer be? You know, the way that I think about it is, okay, let's say, when I go to work, from my house to work, obviously that's not just one, a few ways and how I can go from point A to point B. And what most people do, and this is probably something that you do, you only go based on one way, just using one way. Even though that's probably a different ways and how to get there. Even though probably your commute is 10 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, it doesn't matter. There are different ways on how to go from point A, your house, to point B, work. But more likely you only take one because probably that take less time for you to get there. But you are so conditioned that you don't have to think about it. You just get in the car and you just go. And sometimes you get to point B, your job, and be like, oh, I got here. And if I ask you, can you tell me the things that you saw, what was happening on your way to work? More likely, you wouldn't be able to tell me none of it. Why? Because you were an autopilot. Right? Now, probably the only time that you were aware was maybe when you were driving and then you noticed this big truck that was getting closer and closer to you. And then you were like, oops, I need to be aware. And probably for a few minutes, you were fully aware of what was going on. And then no more big truck. And then you went back to autopilot. And that's exactly like that is scenario. That's exactly how you are going through your life right now to your IT career. And when I went through this process myself, I'm like, whoa, this will make a huge difference from now on. 
huge difference. Now, probably when you get to work, more likely, probably not all the time, but more likely you park on the same spot. Because you are going through life in autopilot. You are not doing anything about it for you to be aware. And you have that control for you to be more aware just by changing a few things. Does this happen to you before? When you're doing something and probably someone or probably even just you, you ask yourself or someone asks, hey, why are you doing that? And you're like, uh, I don't know. I mean, you know better. So why are you doing that? I, I don't know. You see? You go through life, you go through your IT career without questioning what you do. But that's going to change from now on. If you listen to me, if you take the time to do the exercises that I'm going to ask you to do, I'm telling you, the first step for you to be very successful, for you to get that high paying job, your dream job, and you having that life that you always dream of in the next two to three years, it starts now and getting certified. Now I'm getting a bachelor's and none of that fucking BS. It's about self being self aware. Because without it, what's going to happen? And this is probably how you've been going through so far in life and in your IT career with lack of direction. Because you don't, know, you don't know any better. You have no idea what's going on. So you have lack of direction. And by the way, I'm just going to walk you through some of them. Because I'm not going to have that time to go through all of them. This is why this is your wake-up call. Another thing, without it, you will react to the world. Because you don't know any better. You go through life and whatever happens, happens. So you're going to react. Successful people do not react. Because they know what's going on. Things will happen. But they will see that coming because they were aware. And they're ready to go through them. Not to react and run from it. Big difference. The third one. Live life in autopilot. And this is something that I told you many times by now. And I hope that from now on this will not happen to you. That you will take control. And another one is live life with limitations. First, because you don't question what you do. Second, because you don't question and how can you do that better because you don't get any feedback because you go through life in autopilot and whatever happens, happens. And because you don't know any better. Because you go through life and I know better without not really knowing any better. And I know that probably by now you are getting chills. Because I'm getting chills. Even though I went through this process a few years back. And now that I'm teaching you this, because this is exactly what, one of a few things that really changed my life. And this is not like, oh, I'm aware 24-7 because you cannot make that happen. It's not possible. But the more aware that you are, the better. Because then you take control. Not the other you that wants to hold you back. And I don't want you to be the monkey. Yes, I don't want you for you to be the monkey. I do not want you to be the monkey. And I know there's probably many things going through your mind. And, oh, what? Like, what does that mean? I, what? What do you mean you don't want me to be the monkey? You know that many people say this. Monkey, see? Exactly. Monkey do monkey see do it, uh, someone doing something and then the monkey goes on doing it without asking why should i should i be doing this or not i'm just seeing these people running you know 20 people running you know i'm the only one that probably it's not so i'm just gonna go with them i'm just gonna follow them monkey see monkey do but us humans it's worst we see we do, 
And then we advise or teach other people based on that, based on what's not working. Yes. You know, and probably because that was me. I was, peop I was you know, seeing how people were doing in their life, in their IT career. Without questioning, I'm like, okay, they're doing that. And I see most people are doing the same, so I'm just going to do that. I'm seeing, I'm going to do. And then if someone asks me how to do that, I'm going to tell them. And I, it never got to the point of me questioning. Why? Like, why those 20 people are doing that? Why? Maybe they are going through and doing something that it's wrong. And none of them question that. And that's exactly why there are so many people in IT that are broke. So many of them, they work in IT and they don't like the job that they have. Even though they were so excited when they were getting in the IT. That's fucking reality right now out there. And I hope it's not for you. This is the time for you to change that. For you not to be the monkey. And from now on, and this is one of the questions that I'm going to ask you in the exercise. You have to question everything that you do from now on. Condition yourself on doing that. Because that will help you a lot. And your mind will tell you right away, yes, this is a... The thing that we need to do right now. Let's do this. Or probably your mind will tell you once you ask, am I supposed to do this right now? And your mind. Because your mind knows better. Because you know, you will know exactly what you need to do. And be like, no, you are not supposed to do this right now. You have something else better to do. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. So once again, I don't want you to be the monkey. And I see... I don't question, I just see, then, okay, let me go and do. And then if someone asks me how to get there, even though I'm not there yet, but I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna still tell you, or, and give you that back, like, that's exactly what's going on out there in the IT community. That's exactly what's going on out there. Not just in the, in the IT, everywhere. But this will not be you anymore. So once again, it's all about to be self aware self aware now let me walk you through some benefits and you being self aware and write this down go through this video a few times because this right now is your wake up call to be self aware means that you allow to see the stories that you are no one else that you are telling yourself they are either stopping you right now you have many stories based on society based on experiences that you went through there are many factors but there are many not just one stories right now that you probably don't know that you are going by you go through life you go through your it career based on those stories that without you knowing they're going through your mind and they're exactly the ones stopping you Telling you, this BS that Jorge is telling me right now, oh my God, it's garbage. Really? Like, really? Because probably at one point, that's exactly what went through your mind. But do you have the job that I have, the income that I have, the opportunities and the life that I'm creating? That's exactly what you need to question. I know that I have maybe one or two things that you can learn that will help you. And this is one of them. And you being aware. Another thing will be holding you back. And being afraid. Because the story goes that, oh, I think I tried this before and it didn't work. So no. Or oh, I looked so stupid the last time I did that. So no. I'm telling you. And obviously it's sabotating you, your life, your IT career. So those stories, now you're going to have them be like, no, no more, no more. That's, that's the benefit because those stories, you will be able to bring them up and be like, no, not anymore. Now I know what I need to do and I'm going to go based on that, not based on what happened to me before because that's the past. And the past do not equal the future. And being self-aware 
will make you see things that you believe that are not true. I probably have many right now that I'm not aware yet of them. So I know you have them as well. And right now, let's focus in your IT career. I know there are, and I'm going to go through some of them in the next few videos, but I know there are not just one or two, many beliefs that are not helping you based on how to start or how to go through your IT career. And being self-aware, you can be like, okay, now that I'm questioning this, let me go through and be if this is true. Now imagine, you are, before going through this process with me, before you going through this video training course, your awareness was this big. That's how you awareness, not that much. But now that you are finally going through this video training course and be like, wow, now I know better. Now I know what's going on. Now I know what to do. So what that means now, at this point, you are expanding your awareness. And this is probably that you're going to notice from this point on, and anything that you're going to do if you go through the exercises, if you do what I ask you to, and you will be like, oh my God, I never noticed that. Well, I never noticed this. But now I see those things that were there before, but I never noticed because I was going through autopilot, doing the same thing over and over and over. So now once you go through this video training course and expanding your awareness is this big. Imagine that. Imagine that possibilities. Because let me tell you something. When you expand your awareness, you get bigger results. And that's exactly what life is all about. So now, I know that probably there were a few moments when you were like, whoa. So I'm going to ask you for you to take the time needed for you. That can probably be 10, that can probably be 30 minutes. But take the time to go through the exercise. Download the PDF, go through the questions. And once you do, go to the next video. And I will tell you how you can start doing one thing big they will allow you from now on to be more aware. But make sure you go through the exercise first. And once you do, go to the next video and I will talk to you there.